So essentially, there are three waves in which computing has evolved and has been adopted. The first one was the personal computer. The second one was the mobile phone, followed by the smartphone. The final wave is of course of billions of internet connected devices that are making computing ubiquitous across all facets of our lives. The hope of course is that computing will help address society's most pressing problems, health, sustainability, equity, and more traditional measures like economic and industrial productivity. But there are a number of key research challenges that stand between us and making those hopes a reality. Challenges which my students and I work on as part of our research group, Synergy Labs. At our core, we build hardware and software systems to leverage and also augment this deeply networked and instrumented world we increasingly live in, while also considering issues like security, privacy, safety, and overall usability. As one example, we're building a hardware software stack for the Internet of Things from scratch called Jotter. We're innovating across all the layers, from developing new hardware and sensors to machine learning methods to extract information from them. We are devising novel ways of organizing and storing the data that these IoT devices will generate. And we're even developing new abstractions for users to develop apps in a safe and secure manner. So what are we working on in the context of Jotto? Take, for example, the current generation IoT devices. For starters, they're cumbersome to set up and use, but what's worse is that they provide data at the wrong level of abstraction than users typically want. Users want higher level intelligent inferences rather than raw data. They want to know, for example, whether a machine in the woodworking shop is malfunctioning and the reason for it rather than the raw vibration of audio data. So we developed this, the MITE sensor, this little sensor integrates every possible sensing facet imaginable, sort of the one sensor that could rule them all. And to provide those high-level inferences that user want, we also develop a machine learning layer that allows a user to demonstrate what they care about, such as the state of a particular piece of equipment or an appliance, and have our system build a model to detect that state and expose it as a new virtual sensor. All the while storing sensor data in a way that ensures usability as well as privacy. Because let's face it, as soon as we develop more IoT devices, we open ourselves up to a new class of privacy and security threats. Think about your innocuous sounding smart thermostat sending your home occupancy data to Google, which is privacy invasive, or worse, a hacked thermostat connecting to your smart door lock to open it when you're not at home. These threats are real and are only going to increase. We are investigating techniques that enable users to be safe and secure despite these vulnerable devices being present on their network kind of like bolting on security onto devices that are not inherently secure. And what is perhaps coolest of all about our Jotto work and much of our lab's work is that this is not a hobby research project. Jotto is already running on over 55 buildings on two campuses and running several smart building applications. But this is just a small snippet of the kind of things my students and I work on. We're also diving deep on tough challenges ranging from managing user privacy on smartphones to enabling smart and energy efficient buildings and infrastructure to saving energy usage on all forms of computing systems. Together, we're working towards a safer, more efficient, more intelligent and increasingly connected world. Join us.